Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Unobtained. It is episode 24. Wow, uh, for me that is a huge accomplishment. Um, one of the biggest goals for me in my YouTube is to make it, make a long series. And this is definitely starting to become a long series. At least for me, 24 episodes is actually insane for me uh, because I I've never gone this far in a series. So I'm hoping that I can uh, continue this much, much longer. Anyways, look at this quartz. I actually, on stream, believe it or not, twitch.tv slash HQ, got a ton of quartz ore. And as you can see right now, I'm placing it all. And I made this fortune three pick and we are going to be mining it all down and getting a bunch of quartz because guys, we need a bunch of quartz for a couple things. Number one, we need them for daylight sensors. We need it for quartz blocks. We need it for comparators. And yeah, um, why do we need daylight sensors? Well, that is a good question. And I'm gonna answer that right now. We need daylight sensors because I am making a storage system that essentially uh, the design for that storage system or storage room design, sorry, my goodness, came from a guy called Just Toyota. He is in the Afterlife SMP Discord and I told him what I was trying to do and he actually gave me a mock-up of uh, a design and I was like that is an awesome design dude oh my goodness so that is why I am getting all this quartz and why I spent two hours and 45 minutes on stream uh, collecting quartz and talking to you guys so if you guys haven't been to one of my twitch streams please 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 go ahead and try out a stream um, they're fun you, know, you don't have to be there for the entire time you know it's just to connect with you guys and have a bit of fun and yeah I, they definitely were fun and i hope to see more people there next time anyways for today's episode our goal for the unobtained thing is going to be getting something in the water yes so probably by the title you may know what i'm going to be doing but uh hey i think it's time that i go into time lapse mode here and finish this up. Well guys, we got quartz. We definitely have quartz now and I am super happy because yeah, we have a lot of it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, four of those makes a stack of regular quartz blocks, but we need this to make the daylight sensors um, and some quartz blocks and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, daylight sensors require uh, some other resources. Um, so yeah, and we also need to get some acacia saplings and acacia logs because uh, that's part of the design of the sword system too so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys on a little adventure on amidst to the seed all right so I don't know if you guys have actually seen my seed here but let's zoom out here there we go we have this is kind of the 1.9 layout um, so this is obviously our base is centered here. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of stuff around here. Uh, I pretty much loaded out to about here in my world um, already. So we have quite a big world going on um, just of exploring and doing stuff. Um, obviously it's not, some of this isn't loaded. Like this over here probably isn't loaded. There's quite a few things probably not loaded, but uh, yeah, basically over here we have savannas and deserts and all that but we also have the mesa plateau and all that good stuff and it's directly west it's just it's a really long shot directly west but 
If we're able to put a portal right around here at negative nine nine k, we have a really large mesa that we can work on. Uh, I know this mesa here is the one we kind of loaded. Um, I I believe that's the one we loaded. It's all messed up. Uh, so yeah, uh, there might be. I think I might check there first for some uh, acacia trees. But yeah, there, there's quite a few things. There's also a jungle directly south. We can't really explore south right now. We're waiting until 1.13, I believe, uh, to do that. We, we put some guys somewhere around here. Um, some, some mobs with some armor, and we're waiting till another version that we load that, and then they're gonna have the armor in their uh, hand slots, so. Yeah, anyways, um, yeah, as you can see, actually, the spawn is actually supposed to be a desert, but we, we obviously loaded this world a lot earlier. So this, all, all about to about 1500, is alpha terrain, or not alpha, beta terrain. Then this outer layer here of region files is pretty much 1.7 through now. Uh, and then there's a few outskirts every once in a while. I know that we have one of these islands over here. I think this one right here is the one we're using for the mob farm or animal farm. Um, but yeah, that, that's quite a lot. I was trying to find a uh, ice spikes biome, which, oh yeah, we, we have access to one right down here. So I might make a path there. Um, yeah, there's a lot of paths we got to make in the nether. Anyways, I think instead of doing that, we're going to hop into getting a uh, squid in a boat. Um, so let's see if we can find a squid. I'm sure there's some over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. 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 There we go. There's one guy in a boat. We just got to come up here. Here, let's get this guy over here. Okay, he's in the boat. There we go. Epic, epic, epic. Okay, so um, yeah, this this guy here, he is. Yeah, I I don't know if they'll despawn in the boats. So let's uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna get some name tags and I'm gonna go ahead and name tag them just to be safe. Uh, I think I'm going to do Alpha, Bravo, and hmm, Charlie probably for the letters, you know, the letter. Okay, so I think Alpha is going to be, uh, oh, Alpha's dead, okay. So let's make Alpha this one here, the Oak Boat, Alpha. Bravo is going to be the spruce boat. And Charlie. And bam. There we go. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Oh, yeah. We got the three squids. So I think that is a cool, a cool thing to do. <laughs> Why is Minecraft so funny? Oh man, okay. So guys, uh, that was the unobtainable thing for today's episode. Uh, if that's what you guys came for, there you go. Pretty cool, really. All you gotta do is go into 16W03A, get some boats, and you know, do what I did just then. Um, obviously, name them if you don't want them to despawn. For me, I'm gonna keep them there. They're gonna be the, uh, the workers at my dock eventually, which is gonna be kinda over in that area. But uh, yeah, I wanna do a quick little chat to you guys uh, but instead of doing like a boring kind of chat and just doing nothing i'm gonna set up like a time lapse where i build a really basic uh iron farm uh, that will give us a trickle of iron that will take care of our iron needs so i hope you enjoy the time lapse i'm gonna set up a alt account on a land world and i'm gonna get to work okay so while you witness me build up an iron farm here um 
I want to ask a few questions and some opinions of you guys because it's important for you guys to be part of my series and my channel as much as it's important that I make my videos and uh, keep my channel up to date. So uh, the first thing is, are you guys interested in the let's play aspect of Unobtained? I looked back on my old videos um, of Unobtained. Another thing is, should I make the videos more focused around the Unobtained aspect or the let's play aspect? or should I try my best to keep it at 50-50 um, and kind of keep both balanced? Um, is the series going in a direction that gets you excited? And do you think there's anything I can do to make the series more interesting? And yeah, any overall feedback to the series, the channel, but mainly the series on Obtained and the world and uh, where you'd like to see the series go in the future. And don't be afraid to uh, lay it on me. Just make sure it's constructive uh, and yeah, I, I would appreciate it very much because you know, sometimes you get stuck in a pattern which I have found myself stuck in and uh, sometimes it's good to get some feedback to you know, change the pattern up at least a little bit. Um, and if you guys have no problems with the current uh, series, that would be great to know too. So yeah, uh, thank you. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, our iron farm in all of its glory, dripping water on me. Uh, oh yeah. And we already have some iron in the chest here, uh, which means it's working, it's working. And yeah, we're gonna get some iron here. I'm gonna AFK over here every once in a while. Um, and this is gonna be the beginnings of our industrial district. Anyways, earlier I said that we were gonna be working on the aesthetics of the storage room and I would like to keep my promise, so Let's go ahead and mosey on over to the acacia trees or the mesa biome. It's going to be a long journey, but it's going to be worth it, guys. It's going to be worth it. All right, so this is out here at like 3600, zero, you know, or just on the, the east axis. We are doing real good. Look at this. We got a really cool, actually, uh, kind of savanna biome here. We got the the uh, rare savanna biome too which is awesome um it's for some reason i think it's like storming yet it's not storming or it's raining but since it's uh, a savanna it's not raining um anyways these are what we came for and i got some uh, saplings already so we can farm them back at base but i'd like to uh, gather a couple stacks or, or so here before we head back to base because uh you know I don't think we're going to be back here for a while. I don't think we're going to be taking advantage of this too much. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear up some of these trees and I will be right back at base with you guys. And here we have it, the storage system um, or the aesthetics of the storage system are complete. This looks awesome. Uh, it didn't take too long to build up too. It's a pretty easy thing to build up. These are all furnaces too, so we can technically just cook stuff up here if we really wanted to, which is uh, actually quite useful. Um, you know, they're all going to be manual, but I mean, gosh, uh, yeah. So obviously this room here, is, we're going to be duplicating this kind of aesthetic over in this room. But of course, we also have to do one, two, three more wings, just like this one. Um, we are going to have to probably get rid of this uh, or we're just gonna skip this one and have like a display for it but uh, yeah there's quite a few things we got to do for each one of these rooms but yeah this is honestly like the coolest thing ever and if you guys are interested in some awesome buildings and stuff like that go to Josh Toyota's uh, YouTube channel I'll have a link in the description below and yeah he designed this entire thing for me block for block he designed it um, the only thing I added was this tripwire hook and this tripwire hook. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he basically designed the entire thing and I think it looks absolutely amazing. Um, and I'll just let the build speak for itself really. But uh, yeah, so next, uh, I think it's time that I go ahead and get to farming some logs here because we're going to need quite a bit of it. All right guys, so uh, trees have been chopped. We have a lot of spruce wood here quite a lot of spruce wood. <laughs> uh, yeah, so those are going to be going towards chest, daylight sensors, all that stuff. Chests are actually really expensive when it comes to logs and all that stuff. So I wanted to chop up a bunch of spruce trees. I, you know, set up a little 
mini farm. You can see my axe. This is after one full axe usage, and then I put mending on it, repaired it, and uh, that much more was that much uh, spruce logs, which is pretty insane. But yeah, uh, we got it done, which is great. Um, and yeah, we we are here in this room. Um, yeah, there's a there's a lot to be doing in the the rest of today's episode, but something bad happened, guys. Uh, the squids drowned and I updated so they, they wouldn't drown in the uh, snapshot that we were in but as soon as I updated they were in a slightly different position um, in the boats and they just they suffocated in the air and died so um, I went back and I tried it again to see if it was you know maybe they just got unloaded or something weird happened with the update process uh, and no they, they definitely suffocated in the air and died so um, yeah, there's there's one other option that we can try. Um, me and some people on the Discord are talking it over, so I will be right back with the general consensus, and uh, we will be in the uh, the lower update. Uh, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and get those uh, three more name tags, and uh, I'm only gonna give it one more shot. I don't want to waste my resources too much, so uh, yeah, I will be right back. Well guys, with uh, all of my due diligence put into place and tested and all that stuff, I can't get these guys to stay. So we just have three blank name tags. Um, I was testing in creative, like just so many different scenarios, updating it, seeing if it works. Nope, go back, do it again. Over and over and over and over and over. Uh, it was really annoying, <laughs> which is quite unfortunate because, uh, well, it basically means we can't have uh, squids in a boat, which is something kind of sad. But, uh, you know, at least we could still have a dragon in a boat. Um, that definitely takes care of the uh, the part of the game that's very interesting. Anyways, it is thundering, so that's cool. We might go looking for a charged creeper. But, yeah, guys, um, because we can't do that, I really don't have much left for today's episode. Um <laughs> Which really sucks, but we were in 1.9. There's quite a few things that we can do in 1.9 um, that I'm really excited about. And I really am looking forward to seeing your guys' comments on the previous uh, you know, talk when I built the iron farm in today's episode. I really am looking forward to those uh, answers to where you guys would like to see unobtained go, what's entertaining, what's not. Um, just in general advice is going to be really appreciated. I really uh, am looking forward to it. So thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And, yeah, don't forget to, uh, hey, hey, I don't do this often. Hit that subscribe button. Isn't that a button down there? Yeah, you should, you should do that. All right, bye.